Guess what, you guys? I won a golden egg from Turtle Creek Lane over on Instagram. If you don't know who Turtle Creek Lane is, the brains behind the operation is Jen. She is a Dallas housewife and designer, and she does this over-the-top decorating in her Dallas mansion, and it's just gorgeous. I love following her stories daily over there on Instagram. She posts a lot, and um, she's got a great team behind her, and she's just a sweet lady in general. So I won this golden egg because... Um, if you shared her story on the day that they started decorating for Easter, then they picked five people that did that and they got a golden egg. And so I wanted to go ahead and open this with you guys. The reason why it's a golden egg, that's her theme this year. They're putting um, golden eggs throughout the house in each room and the kids are finding them and they have Bible verses in them and they're getting together as a family and reading them. I think that's just so special and sweet. So anyway, let's get into opening this egg and see what's in it. So it's Okay, so first off, I want to mention this egg is just so sparkly, right up my alley. I love it. <laughs> and um, I might have to find a spot for it somewhere, even though I don't really use gold too much in my house. So, um, here's what's inside. And the handwritten note says, Happy Easter. Thank you for being a friend of Turtle Creek Lane, XO Jen. Handwritten, so sweet. I love that. And then there's some more Easter eggs in here with uh, some Starburst jelly beans, it looks like. Yeah. Oof. I love those, too. They're, like, my favorite. Let's see. It seems like this might be the same thing, too. So, yeah. More jelly beans. And I'm not going to do this one because it's probably the same. So, then there's a Reese's Easter egg. Uh, my boys and my husband are going to fight over that, so they're going to love that. And then there's this... Uh, aluminum Easter egg from the round top collection. I've been noticing this store popping up all around me. Um, and there's super cute stuff in there. Just definitely check it out. And then, um, I don't know if it's a Texas thing though, but it might just be a Texas thing cause it's called round top too. Ooh, some gift cards. Okay. So we have a gift card to target. It doesn't say how much, but, um, that's awesome. She knows her audience, right? Target Starbucks, $25 to Starbucks, $25 to Amazon. And then um, two gift cards to Chick-fil-A for $10. So that is awesome and way generous. Thank you so much, Turtle Creek Lane. And so my channel is still growing, and I hope to do giveaways like this. And actually, I'm thinking for this video, I want to pay it forward. So I'm thinking um, if you like, subscribe, and or are already subscribed, and you comment below, you'll be entered into this contest. And I'll probably do it, um, figure out the winner a week from me posting this. I'll put um, information below in the um description box, but I will send you three of these gift cards. How about that? So go ahead and um, like, subscribe, and comment below to be entered. And um, then whoever wins, I'll end up um, replying to that comment and giving you my email, and then we can um, figure out how to get the cards to you. So let's get into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited to get into spring, and this is part two of my spring decorating series. Thank you. to do could somebody come and take me away i've been in the tea without you and i got it in my head night and day but we are one step closer we're all in this together put your hand We were starting off to decorate with me in the entryway and we've already cleared everything off and now we're going to start placing the items back. I do want to mention that this is the only part of the video where I'm actually decorating with you. The other two spaces I'm just going to show you them are entryway niche and a fun space upstairs for the kids. They are already done. So I'm placing these cherry blossoms inside of this ginger jar and I do want to mention I have a smaller vase inside of the ginger jar to help me get the height of the cherry blossoms. And I wanted it to be like dramatic and kind of like there was a big cherry blossom tree um, on our entryway table. And so I'm going to be adding in some lighter pink cherry blossoms too and kind of mixing them together to make them look like one. I'm curious, what flowers do you guys like to decorate with for spring? I tend to go for tulips and cherry blossoms.
that's the cherry blossoms and that's going to set the tone for what comes next. I'm going to start building out the sides of the entryway table and then move back to the center to finish it out. Um, I do want to mention I am using a new camera in this video, so I'm still trying to get familiar with the settings. So sometimes it's a little bit bright, but just bear with me. It's going to really help me um, get more content out and um, have higher quality content. I just need to get to know the camera a little bit better. And if you're new here, I want to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Caitlin, and I love to do all things decorating. I would love it if you'd subscribe. I am a newer YouTuber. I'm really trying to grow my channel this year. And if you don't already follow me over on Instagram at Mrs. Caitlin Hunter, I do post more to my stories there daily, and I love chatting with you guys and getting to know you over there. And if you like this video, and if you comment and subscribe, then you'll be entered into winning uh, the gift card that I mentioned earlier. So go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you here. It's 100% free. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you. It is great to have you here. Wake me from this dream I've been in. I need to get in closer to you. I swear you might not see. Oh baby, I've been waiting for you. Now we are one step. way decorated for spring and Easter. I think it's pretty simple but still impactful with that floral arrangement in the middle. Um, I do want to mention that I am looking to change some things again on this table like um, the artwork I have in the middle of that black and white chandelier. I do like it but it's just not working for me here. I want something that blends in a little bit more to the wall but still pops out. Um, maybe something with some grays and some uh, beiges and uh, black and white. Um, we'll see what I can find. Not too much black, but I want to kind of bring the black a little bit back a little bit, scale it back. And I do also want to mention that <laughs> these geodes are having a moment in my house. I don't know what it is, but I'm starting to collect them and um, I'm loving the natural tones that it adds to the home and that kind of leads to maybe what I'm looking for to put on the wall, something with tones like that in it. So we'll see, stay tuned, and um, you'll see that in a future video, I'm sure. What do you guys think of this? Is it simple? So another moment in our entry is like as you turn around from the entryway table, you see there's a front door over there to the right is this little niche here that I always have fun kind of styling up. So you'll recognize this sweet little bunny from um, my last video. Um, she was by the fireplace, but I decided to move her up here so she could have more of a presence and a welcoming moment to anyone coming by. And she's got a little basket with some moss and some little eggs in there. And these are from um, Hobby Lobby. And then I also put her in this tray with some more moss and little eggs in there. So that's her having her little moment here in the entryway. And then up top on this um, shelf, I just have this simple, um, these tulips. Um, draping out of this vase that I made. Um, in a previous video, I showed you how I made this. I'll link it below if you're interested. But yeah, it's just a simple moment here in the entryway. And I just love this bunny. She's so sweet. Here on the landing outside the kids room I have this Peter the Rabbit moment set up and we have the book, the tale of Peter Rabbit and then we have Peter himself with his carrots and his bag and with his overalls. He's super cute and sparkly, very colorful for my decor and he is propped up on a basket and then over here we have another basket that's spilling out with carrots and cabbage and tulips and then on top of that basket, we have um, like Grandpa Bear, our Bunny, and he's uh, reading the story of Peter the Rabbit. So that's this little moment. I think it's super cute for the kids. They love that movie. And 
that is it for this video. I'm excited for the next video, the final part to my Easter and spring decorating. So don't forget to subscribe so you can be entered into the contest to win those gift cards. Thank you.